What's going on, people? This is Ty Shurase for Computer Music Academy, and welcome back to Playing With. In this episode, we're going to talk about IK Multimedia Sample Tank 3. Now, this is a workstation and sampler instrument with over 33 gigs of content. Yeah, pretty crazy. That includes over 4,000 sounds, 2,500 drum kits and loops, and over 2,000 MIDI files. It also has three sample engines and 55 high quality effects. So with that said, let's get into it. So here we are with the latest version of one of my favorite instruments of all time. I've been down with IK Multimedia since Sample Tank 1.5, if I'm not mistaken. So I've had 1.5, 2.0, 2.5, the XL versions. And I must say, now that we're on three, this is a huge update, a much needed update. It's 64 bit. It still has the same capability as far as using sounds and sampling and layering sound design and stuff like that. But finally, it's 64 bit. <laughs> and that is huge in 2014, 2015. Huge. So. What I'm going to do today is actually take you on a little tour and just demonstrate it as a sound module. I don't want to get too deep because there's a lot of possibilities and capabilities with this thing. But I'm just going to show you the absolute basics. And of course, in subsequent videos, we'll uh, go into some other things. So there's actually three different pages uh, or sections. You have your play section, which, of course, is which is where you get all of your sounds. Uh, MIDI patterns and so on. Uh, in the mix section, it's a mixer, and we'll get to that shortly. And of course, you can go into the edit section, and I'll show you how to get around that and manipulate your sounds even more. So let's go back to the play section. This actually has a multi part browser, so you can find your different sounds. So you have multis, you have instruments, you have patterns, and of course, you have live. We'll cover the live stuff uh, a little bit later. But as far as finding sounds, it's very easy to do so. So, of course, you have your multi, which is exactly what you think it is. It's multiple instruments layered. A lot of these actually have demo songs. And with that, let's actually uh, check out a couple. <laughs> So hopefully with those demos, you see the capabilities and possibilities of this instrument. With that, let's get a little deeper into 
the tour. As you can see right here, you actually have 16 parts or tracks. So you can actually load up to 16 different instruments and each one can have its own uh, MIDI pattern and so on. Uh, going across, you have the part number, you have the MIDI channel number, which can easily be adjusted by clicking on the number, dragging your mouse up or down. Very easy to do uh, when you want to get into multi layering and stuff like that. Uh, then you have your solo, you have your mute. You can actually get rid of the instrument right here by clicking the delete. Uh, this is your instrument name right here. Volume, you can adjust that and the panning right in this window. And you also have the level for the volume. Very easy to get around uh, if you understand, you know, studios in general. It's very easy. Um, so, yeah, we went through some multis. Let's actually take a look at the instrument browser uh, down here. You actually have this icon right here, which is uh, once you actually get into manipulating, creating your own instruments and patches, you could actually save, save as, rename an instrument name, delete it. Uh, and later we'll get into important legacy instruments and important samples. Let's uh, go to this saw base, click on the info, and you actually get a little information on that particular instrument. So this is the actual name of the instrument when it was created. Uh, how much memory is taken up and you can actually see that right there as well uh, what category a little description any macros what they are assigned to do so very easy to uh, understand what's going on here of course clicking on the magnifying glass you can search for any instrument or pattern or multi depending on which browser you're in uh, very easy to find what you want to find and i'm not going to click this icon right here what this does is rebuild your database and depending on how many instruments you have, and you'll understand a little bit later, depending on how many instruments you have, it will take a very long time. So me clicking on that right now will actually bring the, the video to a screeching halt, even with editing. So yeah, pretty easy to get around there. So down here, you actually have your pitch and your modulation. You actually are in the macro section right now. This is what's highlighted. And you have eight macro knobs that are assigned. Uh, you can click this right here. This will switch over to the effects section. So you actually see six knobs. I believe you can get more. Uh, these are the different effects right here that you can switch to the, that particular uh, effect. Click it on and off by clicking on the red uh, part of it. Uh, and we'll get into the effects shortly. Down here is your keyboard. Very similar if you're familiar with, uh, say, like Contact and a couple of other instruments that have a similar layout. You know what octave you're in, what notes you're playing at all times. Uh, of course, you can click the mouse and play it. But of course, me, I like to play with my MIDI controller. Down here, you can learn certain features or controls to your MIDI controller. It's very simple. Just follow those instructions. Controls right here. This shows you the different macros and what they are mapped, the different values, that kind of thing. Uh, over here, this is very important. If you're in a situation where you have multiple instruments or just one loud long instrument that's playing and it puts you in panic mode this is called the panic button clicking this will simply just stop everything that's playing all at once very easy to use over here you actually have the clock which will switch it from the internal clock of, of sample tank or the external clock which is your daw very cool right here you have your play button so any patterns or any demo songs or any patterns that you've created, you can actually play them from here. And uh, let's take a look at uh, some of these instruments, man. Let's get around and get into this stuff. Start off with some bass. And as you can see, you have the uh, category, the instrument category, then the subcategory. Then you have other subcategories under that subcategory. Uh, that's actually broken down by, uh, in this case, different types of P bases. So flat wound, round wound, and so on. Click that, go into the instruments, and anything that doesn't have the heavier font, those are the actual instruments. So I can click on this, and it's gonna load in slot one because that's the one I had uh, highlighted at the time. And Yeah, 
<laughs> one thing that you'll see with IK Multimedia's instruments is they're pretty high quality. These aren't chintzy, thin sounding sounds. They're pretty high quality, especially once you get into stacking sounds and adding different effects and whatnot. And you'll see how crazy things could get with this particular instrument. Let's check out a couple more of these, uh, these basses. I like that. It's like you can hear the strings rattling. Somebody actually programmed that. That's crazy. Once again. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. In this particular instrument, you have different play types. So you have fingers, picks, and slaps. Uh, let's take a look at the slap. <laughs> yeah, that sounds damn good. And see, you can you can enhance that down here in this section between the macros and the effects. So, you know, let's say I wanted to add a little bit more drive. A little, a little more compression. A little more amp. Cut the noises down. Get more of the guitar itself. And let's see, go up here to the effects. Because you have a couple of different ones. So SVT Classic, this is an amp modeler. This is a compressor right here. And these effects, we'll get into these a little bit later. But a lot of these effects come from IK Multimedia's collections, either from Amplitude or T-Rex. And these are very, very high quality. And just to show you, let's crank it up a little bit. Yeah, sickening. Now you have up to five that you can put in here. So I can go over here. This is an empty slot and I can actually select something. So let's say I want to put on a delay. Uh, yep, let's grab that right there. Actually, let's grab a tape echo. <laughs> pretty silly, pretty silly. All right, let's check out uh, some of the synth basses. One thing you'll find as we continue to go through this is this is a very versatile instrument. Woo. I like that fall. That's what I'm talking about. A little analog. Oh man. Mm-hmm. I like. See, we can go in here and get pretty crazy. Uh what do we have already? Chorus, delay. Let's put a little amp on that. Uh just something silly. British tube lead. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Hopefully you're beginning to see the possibilities. <laughs> it gets very sick. Try this basic bass. Yeah. 
modulation on that mm, sickening and let's check out some of these acoustic guitars as you can see we got steel strings nylon strings 12 strings but then you go in there and there's different articulations and play types That's nuts. But see, we're only getting a little bit of what's possible with these instruments. We're only using one. You can easily stack these just by going to another instrument, either clicking the part name or clicking in the instrument name. That'll actually uh, open up that particular slot and you can go and just put something else in there. So let's try a 12 string, uh, maybe with some, some slides. Let's see how this goes. Oh, forgot to change the uh, MIDI notes. I'm gonna put it all on one. That's a little weird, but it works. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Let's uh, look at a couple of electrics. In here, you see single coil pickup, humbuckers. It, it, hopefully, you understand what's really going on here. See, let's let's get a little sillier. Let's go single coil and put this on top of it. Bridge, middle, neck, sickening. I like that, man, 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 man. <laughs> Let's see what uh, what other damage can we do here. Check out some of these pianos, and here we go again. Grand baby, grand honky tonk piano, jazz, more more grands. It's ridiculous what you can do in here. Uh, synth pad, synth piano pad. That one's kind of slow. Let's check into uh, another piano type. Yeah. Okay. So what we can, what can we mix with that piano layers? Ooh, there's a lot of uh, possibilities here. Yeah, the more polyphony you're using, the more processing power you're using. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's get to some strings. And you have solo, ensemble, mixed orchestra, 
crazy. Then once you go into an ensemble, 4, 11, 23, violas, cellos, basses, contrabasses, full strings. This is nuts. The amount of instruments they have in here. One thing I really like about this uh, this uh, sample tank is, depending on the instrument, the notes are very realistic. So, you know, you're not going to get anything down here be below C2. And it actually starts right there. Man, that's crazy. So nothing very, very low. And let's see how high. Yeah. So nothing past C6 very realistic because when you get down in those lower registers or those higher registers you get a lot of aliasing when you're stretching the note and it gets a lot of a lot of distortion and, and just a lot of noise that you really don't want so i love that that they do that and they keep it very realistic i like that a lot mm. That's awesome. That is awesome. All right, let's move down and get into a little brass. Matter of fact, let's keep the full strings. I'm gonna add some brass on top of it. Jazz pop. Mmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Sax and trombone. Let's see what we can do. In case you were wondering, um, when we have the different parts of the instruments and you can adjust the effects down here, once you highlight a particular instrument, you are adjusting the effects and the macros for that particular instrument. So don't think this is all inclusive down here. No, this is 16 if you have that many instruments and 16 different sets of effects or macros. So keep that in mind. Very, very nice. And of course, you know, you can do the craziness panning certain things to a certain uh, 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 value. Nice split. Make something a little higher or lower. synth leads and pads voices all kind of crazy stuff we actually heard some of the voices before uh let's see what we got here our ensemble now of course we can stack that and do something like go to these pop vocals uh let's get marvin in here let's get his interpretation of a, a hard ah nuts well, let's go back down here i'm going to match this up go to a oh a do's and da's o's woes and hoes oh okay maybe not hoes let's see Mm 
<laughs> the possibilities are endless. You have percussion. You have drum kits that we didn't get into yet. Let's check out a couple of these. Got a little jazz kit here. Again, high quality stuff. Realistic sounds. <laughs> a little uh fake roll there <laughs> electronic kits and then again broken down hi-hats and cymbals kicks and snares full kits claps yeah they did their they did their work so this is 800 series i'm assuming this is going to be the 808 yep little hip hop kit kind of 90 sounding oh wow yeah that's high mm -hmm. old school like it i like it and and keep in mind we're only touching a percentage of what is in sample tank three that being said if you know anything about ik multimedia you know that they have a nice catalog of sounds that they've been you know just creating and releasing over the years and if you know anything about the previous sample tanks you know where i'm going for those of you who are brand new to Sample Tank, I'm going to introduce you to what is going to keep you awake many, many nights. Down here, you see this thing for imported instruments. Click this, and what you see are these different titles. These are all of IK Multimedia's previously released instruments. We had Sample Tank, that was the first. But then they released Miroslav, which is orchestral, Sample Moog, Sample Tank 2XL, Sample Trine, which is uh, old school keyboards and pianos, you know, the uh, Mellotrons, and Sonic Synth. If you own any of those other instruments, you can import those sounds into Sample Tank and not only use your factory sounds that come with Sample Tank 3, you can mix them with these as well. It's pretty sickening. Like I can go in here and these are all my mogs. So let's just say I wanted to go to Little Fatty. And I can pull in, I don't know, uh, Fat Saw. So I can go there. Then I can go back to let's say Sonic Synth and grab something pretty sickening like uh, let's go to guitar and bass electric guitar and just grab something random less is more I'm pretty I'm assuming that's a Les Paul Les Paul more Lennon <laughs> that's a Beatles joke I like that <laughs> <laughs> 
Just sickening. Okay, so let's go elsewhere. Uh, for some reason, let's go to Miroslav. And I don't know. Orchestral sections. Brass and wind sections. Let's go up here. Load this. Octaves long. <laughs> Let's see. Let's put this in the middle. That over there. That over there. Okay, are you feeling me now? Do you see how silly this, this stuff can get very quick? Especially, you have 4,000 instruments built into Sample Tank that comes with it. If you own any of these, it doesn't matter if you own them before and you import them or you buy them now, which I believe you will get a discount. I think that's how it works. If you own any of these instruments and you go to the next, I believe you get a discount. Definitely coming from earlier versions of sample tank up to sample tank three there is a discount involved but i believe you'll be able to get all of these at a discount and just import these sounds and just go nuts i mean we're only touching the only scratching the surface of what can be done here just absolutely nuts so we went through an okay amount of instruments what i wanted to show you next is let's let's go to the mix section of this and what you see is the 16 tracks or parts once again you actually have four returns your master output there and then up here these are all of your effects so you can either add the effects in the play window or you can wait until you get over here and add and manipulate the effects so all of your effects this is a full channel strip or track strip so these are all of your effects up here. This is your return right here. Pre, post, that kind of thing. This is the different return tracks right here you can select. This is your panning. This is your main volume for that particular channel. The mute, solo, the uh, latest, highest uh, decibel, track name. You can select up to 32 outputs, which is crazy. Uh, and then, of course, the name of the... Uh, instrument right there and once again down here you actually have the different effects for that particular track and you can continue to add them from down here or click up here add them the exact same way silly absolutely silly the amount of capabilities you have very silly and then let's just go into the edit window and once again we're just going to keep it very light but just to show you how much crazy capability you have. So these are all of the sound design elements of your particular instrument. We're currently on the fat saw. You see that right here. And you can select the different part right here. And you see all of the different uh, elements. So, you know, we go to something that actually has a decent amount of them on. This is your the part right here, actually adjusting the polyphony, the transposing, low and high note, panning, volume, zone. And as we said before, this actually has three different sample engines. I'm not going to go too far into it today, but definitely in other videos. So you have resampling and pitch shifting, uh, stretching. Those controls are right here. Your filtering, velocity controls, LFO controls, envelopes, you know, the ADS... Uh, uh, ADSR, AHDSR, uh, filtering, I mean, keys. It's absolutely nuts, the capability you have with this particular instrument. It's nuts. So needless to say, but I'll say it anyway, I definitely recommend this product. You can purchase Sample Tank 3 from ikmultimedia.com for $349.99 US. And yes, it is an instant download. On that note, 
If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for more reviews, tutorials, and exclusive courses, make your way over to ComputerMusicAcademy.com. See you next time.